this is the Executor Super Star Destroyer. It's so big I can't even get it in one whole shot. This is the review of it. But now, with the intro over with me telling you everything you need to know for now, let's get into the main video. Okay, now that the intro is over, I can tell you about this. It has a nice stand with the 40th anniversary of the Jedi printed brick. It's a four by one. And it has these micro scale Star Destroyers floating next to it on these transparent pieces. It has a- Ah! Oh no. I'll be back in a second. I hope n no damage was sustained. Okay, I managed to fix the, it. The only damage it sustained was these falling off. And a really cool trick you can do with these- I promise this is not computer edited. You can like flick it and they vibrate and it's really cool. I guess you can't really see it on video. But you should try it and buy it. Heck, Ryan's. Um, I'm not an advertiser. I'm just a YouTuber. So don't listen to me. But it is a cool set. And it has a really fun Easter egg. By the way, stop this video and go buy the set if you're hoping to buy it. I don't want to give you any spoilers. Okay, you were warned. You peel this piece up. And you have to rip these off violently. Well, you don't have to. To get a look at it. But to get a good look at it, you do. So, one panel came off. And let's see if the second one wants to come off right now. And it did. Great. So, the Easter egg is this. Guess what this is in the comments? This is Darth Vader with the bounty hunters telling them to go hunt down Luke and his friends in the movie. A nice little easter egg. Ah! It doesn't show it on the box or anything, and I almost dropped this off the side. Oh no. I would have just lost a very important piece of the set. Okay, I will probably just put this thing in a corner so it doesn't shatter. Oh, pretty touch it. Don't do this at home, kids. Well, um, I... Yeah, never mind. Do this at home, kids. You're free to do whatever you want. Even though your parents might yell at you or something. And then you fold this back down. Okay, and over here is the bridge. Some nice scribbling. And back here is all of the massive engines there have to be to propel, to propel this thing. Lego used a lot of good techniques in this. And because I don't have a thing that spins and displays stuff, I'm gonna gonna spin it. There's a sideways building tech technique on the bottom, and it's really cool. So now I'm gonna go put this away and skip to the outro, so bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please like and subscribe. Also, before I bought the set, but when I saw it, yeah, I tried to build my own version of this. As you can see, it's really, like, small and stuff. But it's a decent for my first try. And I named it the Marauder because I couldn't think of any other good Star Destroyer name for it. And before I say goodbye for the time being, here is it with a minifigure sitting on it. It's Darth Vader's ship, so it's obviously much bigger. A minifigure could ride these little things. Hey, maybe in Lego, in the Lego Stars part of Legoland, they should have this, a massive version of this set. But they, but these little things go around it, like on a motor or something. Just an idea. Now, bye.